Tonight we are hearing from veterans about a new cancer study on the contaminated drinking water at Camp Lejeune. The study found that those who were stationed or living at the base in the mid 70s and 80s had a higher risk for several cancers compared to those stationed elsewhere. This afternoon, Jalen Holloway talked with two Camp Lejeune advocates about their thoughts on this study, and he's live now with more. Jalen? Well, Dave, many believe this cancer study on the Camp Lejeune water contamination was long overdue. Now, federal health experts say it's some of the most extensive research on the basis contaminated water, but some believe there's still so much more to be done. Federal health officials may have just cracked a code into helping to solve the Camp Lejeune water contamination. I was asking for the study to come out months ago. Department of Justice said, oh, it's not ready. It hasn't been peer reviewed. But clearly it has, and it's showing the right data, and it's, it's enforcing what many people have known for, for decades. A new cancer study released Wednesday says that military personnel stationed at Lejeune from 1975 until 1985 had at least a 20% higher risk for a range of cancers versus those stationed elsewhere with uncontaminated water. The benzene and the fuel contamination was the boogeyman. That was what they did not want anybody to know about. And now we're starting to see why. For years, former Kent Lejeune Marine Jerry Ensminger and advocate Jason Johns have been fighting for Lejeune victims and their families. Ensminger's daughter Janie was one of those many victims as she died from leukemia believed to be linked to Lejeune's contaminated water. The leadership of the United States Marine Corps failed miserably. They never come out and said, hey, we're sorry what happened back then. It, it was wrong. Many federal health experts consider the study to be a positive development. But like Ensminger, John says the Marine Corps lack of urgency led to years of family heartache. I don't know why there continues to be the denial. Um, they need to embrace us. They need to say I think a lot of Marines and their families would be willing to forgive if they could just get that accountability from them and just say, we apologize. Now, the study also found that civilians who worked at the base were also at a higher risk for a shorter list of cancers. Dave. All right, thanks, Jalen. And you can read more about the study by heading to our website, WITN.com.